I work in film and television. I'm a lighting technician. Oh. <laughs> Not what I was going for. But okay. I'm a lighting technician. Thank you. Main actress on the show I'm working on right now, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I work in a union. Oftentimes when you say you work in a union, you're saying, I work with the best artists and technicians in the city. Uh, there are other times though when you say I work in a union and that's really just a nice way of saying I work with a lot of guys who can't read. <laughs> and they're all like, they're all sketchy, like they're the kind of guys who think jalapeno poppers are a breakfast food, you know what I mean? Like they're like, I don't know any of their real names. It's all like shaker, big ticket, choker, pounder, hillbilly Steve. <laughs> Got it. That's exactly what that guy looks like. A bunch of guys have different food names. There's Two Burger Bob. There's Mikey Pancakes. There's a guy who says his name is Sugar Bear and wants me to call him Sugar Bear, but I'm 35 years old. I can't call another man Sugar Bear, so I just call him Shug. What up, Shug? Fancy shit. No big deal. I work with a man named Cactus that's actually on his birth certificate. Do you understand how terrible your birth must have been for your mother to look up at the nurse and go, we're gonna name this one Cactus. <laughs> Bad fucking day for that lady. Uh, I like knowing how we make films. Like I, I was a dumb kid. I thought we actually, I thought they actually shrunk kids for Honey I Shrunk the Kids. I just now I realize it's camera angles and big blades of grass. It's it's, it's a whole different game. But uh, I, I like knowing how we do this shit. I like knowing like weird casting facts. Like I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, before Michael Keaton was Batman, Bill Murray was going to play Batman. <laughs> he was going to be Batman and Eddie Murphy was going to be his Robin. And if they made that movie right now, this place would be fucking empty because we'd all be going to see that shit. Make more money than they know what to do with. Another movie uh, with some weird casting facts. You guys seen Inglorious Bastards? Yeah. Quentin Tarantino film? Remember the character The Bear Jew? <laughs> That guy sets the whole tone for the film, man. Like, the first scene, he's really prominent. He walks out of this tunnel, and he's wearing army fatigues. And he walks up to a Nazi general, and he taps him on the Iron Cross. He says, did you get that medal for killing Jews? The guy looks back at him and he says, bravery. He beats him to death with a baseball bat. It sets the whole tone for the film. Originally, Adam Sandler was supposed to play the bear Jew. <laughs> Doesn't that change the whole fucking film? Now, that scene alone is different. He's walking out of the tunnel. He's not wearing army fatigues anymore. He's wearing, wearing that crazy outfit from Billy Madison. Frank on the inside of the sweatshirt. ta -da -hoo -hoo, sa -ba -hoo. Did you get this medal for killing a Jew? <laughs> hey, Bear Jew, that guy you're beating to death right now. His last name's Goldsmith. Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! <laughs> All right, they got the wedding singer. Reference. Sweet. Okay. Probably the toughest part about working in film is that uh, we have to wear like walkie talkies at all times with the like crazy earpiece, like the Secret Service kind of earpiece. When we're on the walkie talkies, we always have to talk in walkie code. Yeah. Now you can't say, where are you? You have to say, what's your 20? If I want to say, uh, I'm in the bathroom, I have to say, I'm 10, 100. Some guys tell you they're 10, 200, and that's gross. I don't need that much information. Guys. <laughs> but you're always supposed to call people by their full names or their nickname. And there's one guy that I work with, and his name's Barry Finn. Now, one of the rumors about Barry Finn is that he likes to take some of the younger guys he works with back to his place on the weekends, so Mrs. Barry Finn can have sex with him while Barry Finn watches. What? <laughs> I know, it's crazy. And I've never been invited to one of these soirees, but I'm 100% gonna take them up on it, because <laughs> because how great is it gonna be on Monday morning to show up, get on my walkie-talkie and go, hello, Cuckle Barry Finn, what's your 20? <laughs> That's a literary joke, guys, and I don't know if I can pull that off, because I can't read, guys, that's why I work in a union. Anyways, thank you so much for coming out tonight. We'll bring back the party.